Hello and welcome to this video lecture on robotic process automation which is so called as RPA. In this video lecture you are going to know about what RPA is and how RPA can be used. At the end I am going to explain you a live application project which shows the flip card data information by using RPA. Yeah. Robotic process automation. Um, it can be defined as it is a emerging form of business processing automation technology based on the notion of artificial intelligence. In general, what thing happens in the market is uh, software developers uh, like they produce a list of actions and they can be done by using some internal applications or many things and they are iterative. So to understand what RPA is, let us divide uh, the term into uh, the three parts like RPA like right? so robotic process automation first one is R stands for robotic robotic is nothing but the way of mimicking the human actions by using some robotic systems robotic systems in the sense the intelligent machines so we are replacing uh, human actions like we are mimicking the human actions by using some robotic systems or robotic machines and next one is process process in the sense a way of doing something iteratively here process is iterative and the next one is automating like uh, we don't we don't need to do things many like manually like the things can be automated in this technology so robotic process automation is a way of replacing humans with uh, intelligent robotic machines or artificial intelligence systems in order to do the iterative task in a quick amount of time by automation consider an example like uh, if uh, if he is a person uh, who is sitting in a chamber, like is working in a some company or some office, right? So if he is his work is to his work is a data entry job, like the set of files will be given to him, and he pro and he types in the Excel sheet in the computer. Many so daily the work combination is same. So in order to like if there are hundred files, hundred set of data files is given to him. So he need to type those hundred into a system. And this process is iterative. Like the, the process will be same. You, you don't have the opportunity to create some new things. Right? Uh, the the only thing you can do is you can just uh, enter the details into the computer in Excel sheet or CSV files and make this process going and going in the soon. So here, what RPI is doing is they are just mimicking the human actions like they can observe. Like if we use RPI here, RPI is nothing but there are some tools which can mimic the human actions by observing the work of a human like if we use rpa tool here instead of a human what that rpa tool is do uh, will do is that it mimics the human actions by observing the human like uh, this is the rpa tool uh, which is replacing the human in the above diagram so it is replacing the above diagram human here so what it does is it observe uh, from the first day it observes the work like uh, how the human is doing uh, similar task like how the human is entering the details into the system it uh, the rpa tool observes how the things are going on and after that rpa tool automatically does the work like in, we don't need to write everything into the excel sheet or we don't need to write uh, every action into the system repeatedly like because these are iterative tasks so nothing can change us. we need to do and do again and again so instead of that if we use rpa tool in that it observes the human work on the first day and after that they can do bundles of uh, bundles of set of files in a, in a in the span of seconds and minutes so this is how rpa is used here like replacing the human actions which can reduce the time and which can give the accuracy because even human can uh, do mistakes because of uh, because of some unfortunate things like so even the work is same all the day but they, there is a probability of uh, doing some mistakes but machines cannot do because they can work on in instructions so they don't have the scope to do m mistakes so this is how uh, this is what uh, simply an rpa is um, in the next uh, i'm going to explain you a real time example of extracting flip card data so if i if i said to enter the flip card data into the excel sheets like if you search for a particular thing in the flip card and you get many results right so if i ask someone to note down all the details in the flip card website about the particular product you need to take some hours right so um, you people can see how rpa tool will do that in a span of minutes okay so uh, this is about the rpa now i'm going to show you an application which extracts data from the flip card 
So this is the application named UiPath, which is a famous RPA tool. So this is the interface of the RPA tool in which there are many options. So uh, now we are going to have some experiment with the Flipkart data. So I'm going to search Lenovo laptops here. See, uh, these are the result page of uh, Lenovo laptops in Flipkart. So look here, if I want data to be written in Excel sheet, uh, that uh, number of different items here, they are showing 73 items. So I want all the 73 items to be written in Excel sheet with the name, URL, price and which processor they are using. So it takes two to three hours, right? So see how uh, by using RPA, we can do this. Like there are also many pages here, not only a single page. I want all pages information to be written in an Excel sheet. So see how I can do with RPA within a minute. See, I'm going to select the root element here. So I am selecting the name uh, name here. So it is asking select the second element. So I am selecting the second element name here. And I'm going to save this as column name as name. And I also want URL of that particular thing, the background URL. I'm giving it as URL. See, uh, the data is extracted within a seconds of this page, right? See, this is the information with columns, name and URL. It's showing the different informations. So now I also want another thing that is price. I'm selecting the price here. And I'm naming it as price. See now there is a price column added to it. And I also want another thing that is processor information. So I'm going to select, where is it? Yes, it's a processor information. And it asks to select me the second element, like the second elements processor URL. So I'm selecting the process link here and I'm going to name it as processor. I'm saying, see now it is completed with four different columns and I, I'm selecting the finish here. It is asking is data spanning multiple pages. That means is there multiple pages in this website? Yes. So I need to indicate which is the button which redirects to the next page. So that is simply next button which redirects to the second and third pages. So I'm going to select next here. So it will save automatically. So hence uh, it is end of this project. If I click run, it automatically saves in the similar Excel sheet all the 73. See, the pages are automatically extracting. Uh, so this is a final page. It automatically extracted all the four pages information and saved it. See, uh, this is the sample application. See, look how RPA does the beauty here. It is simply storing it in a minute, which is the work actually to be done in two to three hours. So it is about the RPA and this application. Thank you for watching.